Hello everyone, Holotide here, and today I want to talk about some of the things that I absolutely liked, adored, loved about the Halo Infinite preview that we just got to play. If you haven't already seen my video about the things that I didn't really like or things that I thought needed work on, I will leave it in the description and in the comments down below. And maybe if I'm feeling froggy, I might even put it like on the top right corner, like how real YouTubers do that stuff. I don't know. But uh, I think that that video is a, a good representation of some of the things that 343 needs to look at um and i do know that they've tweeted out that it is an old build and a lot of the issues have already been fixed i guess so we will see what happens with that but before we waste any more time if you guys agree with me or if you guys uh disagree with me let me know in the comments down below because i would love to hear your thoughts as well because you know my opinions do not make up what makes halo the greatest thing on the planet i guess i don't know just let me know what you guys think so this first thing that i like is a couple of different things because it just all funnels into the aesthetic of what halo infinite is and halo infinite feels like halo is the most halo game that we've had since i would say halo 3 i don't know reach still feels like halo to me 4 and 5 are very different depictions of what a halo game can be um and i know reach kind of gets thrown in there as well but it still feels like halo to me in a lot of the gameplay mechanics i know sprint and spartan abilities and all that stuff are meh yeah, but halo infinite feels like if halo 3 got a real sequel it feels like a modern halo it acts like a modern halo and i'm absolutely in love with it even with all the little issues that I had with the flight. The gunplay feels fantastic. Weapons are satisfying to shoot. They have unique quirks that really make them stand out. And I think that that's something special about the Halo weapon sandbox in general. And it feels like they kind of doubled down on that, even with like guns like the Heat Wave that have a you know different fire mode, how they've adjusted some of the weapons. In that same breath, though, I will say that they're pretty hard to use i'm not gonna lie there seems to be a high skill ceiling when it comes to being proficient with weapons and i don't know if it was a bug or not but the sniper rifle was like unusable almost um on mouse and keyboard and controller for me i played on both and speaking of mouse and keyboard it feels good to me it feels better than the mcc which is i i don't know if that's saying a lot but m and k on you know the master chief collection does not feel great you definitely feel like you're outclassed by a controller most of the time, and I actually, you know, go back and forth on MCC, but I usually use a controller now, and every other game I use mouse and keyboard on my PC, so I, I used M&K a lot on the Infinite Flight, and I, I liked it. I thought it felt really good. The music is amazing. I can't get over how good the music sounds it's fantastic i love it's it, i don't know i can't really describe it because it's so ethereal maybe with the hymns and you know wailing people in the background the choir the monks and stuff it's fantastic i love it it almost reminds me of destiny one's vanilla music and i adore that that type of music in a video game i feel is very special and the only games that really come to mind when I think about that are like the original Destiny and the original Halo games. It's fantastic. I love it. I, I literally listen to it on loop on YouTube. Along with the music, the sound design as a whole feels great. I think the guns sound pretty good. Uh, the UNSC weapons sound like a military earth weapon, you know, that a human would make. And most of the Covenant or Alien Brute weapons sound like Alien. The only one that I have a huge issue with was Needler. It sounds like a smg that's been silenced i guess and uh, i think that they need to make that sound a little bit more alien but other than that the sound design across the board including in game you know the when you melee somebody that thud that you get sounds incredible and overall i just really think that they've put a lot of 
heart and soul into the whole sound design of the game. Next up is the equipment and I absolutely adore equipment. I, I'm glad that they're going back to like a Halo 3 type of thing. I know a lot of people are like equipment in Halo 3 is bad. You know a bunch of other people that think Halo 2 is the best Halo on the planet. I would much rather have equipment that people fight over or you know incentivize you to control the map than to give everybody Spartan abilities. So I think that that's a, a good direction for Halo to go. The grapple shot is literally amazing. It's probably one of the, my most favorite thing that's ever been in a Halo game. And I, I can't wait to see what they're able to add as we go on because they're definitely going to add new equipment throughout the lifespan of the game. I think that the sandbox focus approach to this game is fantastic and the simplified movement system that they're using is the right direction for sure. It just makes me think that they have this huge list of things that they're going to add new and old gadgets, weapons, vehicles, maps. It, it'll be a great time, I think. Also, here's a bonus thing. I put in my script that the grenades felt weaker to me than in previous Halos. But after, you know, seeing people's responses on the internet and whatnot, people will say that the nades are strong. And I don't know if I just thought that because the bots were throwing them, that I thought they were, you know, they were throwing god nades the whole time. So it felt like the grenade had to literally be on me to kill me. But when we played PvP against real people, I did notice that everybody was just spamming nades. And I understand that that's like a Halo pastime is opening up engagements and stuff with nades and whatnot. But I think that they could probably tone it down, especially for a more casual audience. I think that people would like to see their grenades kind of weakened. Finally, we have the AI for the bots. And there, it felt like there was a jump from Marine to ODST, but there was a smaller jump from ODST to Spartan. I would have liked to see Spartan be like this super hardcore AI that was just, you know, either getting close to tying players or beating them. But I will say that from what I saw of the bots and how they acted, that I'm actually really excited for the AI in the campaign. I think there's a lot of room to create different gameplay experiences when it comes to using AI, instead of just making the difficulty artificial and giving them more health or, you know, making them do more damage to the player. I think fighting AI that is basically smart and will adapt to the situation will be very cool and add a lot of replayability to the campaign side or PvE side or whatever they end up going with. Maybe this is them testing for, you know, Firefighter or something like that. So I'm excited. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments down below, like I said, what you enjoyed about the flight. I'm excited for the next one. I am moving into a new house, so this will probably be the last video for like a week until I get everything set up. So... Yeah, that sucks, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm very excited to move into my house. I love all of you. Peace.